Hey guys, so today I did this kind of comic book slash pop art character. Um, I wanted to put my own spin on it because most of the ones that I see, they kind of have yellow wigs, red lips, and kind of like no color elsewhere on their face other than most of the time the teardrop. So I just wanted to give her a little more color, like a pink lip and a purple eye. And like I said, most of the time they have yellow wigs, but I did buy these wigs and I didn't have anything really to use them for, so I figured I would you know, purple wig goes with kind of this little comic book character. So that's what I just did. Um, you can always wear your regular hair. The look is really easy. She starts to come really together once you start putting the dots on your face. Most of the time I see the dots are red on people's faces, but to me that kind of looks like you're like sick or something. So I just went with white dots. You can do any kind of dot color you want. And yeah, just threw on a wig. Um, like I said, most of the time the wigs are yellow, but put your own spin on things. So I just don't like that this bang is covering my other eyebrow. Okay, so if you guys want to see how to get this comic book slash pop art character, then just keep watching the video. Thanks guys, bye. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to start with a primer. I'm just going to put this all over my face and then we're going to move on to foundation. And I'm using the Revlon Color Stay in 320 Warm Golden. You do want to use a lighter foundation so that you look more white for this look. Then I just used a super light concealer to conceal anything that my foundation didn't cover. Next, just taking this white powder, I'm going to set my under eye concealer and foundation with this again just to give me a whiter appearance. Then using my BH Cosmetics 120 palette, I'm going to take this kind of purple shade and I'm going to work this from my lid kind of up into the crease, but not too much. Then I'm just going to use a black gel eyeliner to outline everything that needs to be outlined on my face. And I'm going to start first with my eyebrows and you'll see that we're going to give the eyebrows a more sad appearance. talking about in the beginning of the video I'm actually drawing this right into my crease which wasn't a smart move because you can see it's kind of already smudging there so be smarter than me and kind of draw the line above your crease so that when you're blinking you're not going to smudge your line out like I'm going to in a minute <laughs> and then you just want to start outlining your face this is really specific to you and where you want to outline I'm kind of just going with my nose my chin kind of in the corners of my eye and then down all around the edge of our face. But again, the marks that you put on your face are totally up to you, so just use your imagination and mark away. optional but I wanted my eyes to appear bigger so I'm just gonna take a white liner and kind of go in my waterline and then really far down underneath you'll see in a second when I lift my head up there you go and then just take a black liquid liner and draw kind of a fake lower lash line like that then I kind of just drew on some fake lashes I did put wing eyeliner on also just using a regular liquid liner I was way too close to the camera and you guys couldn't even see what I was doing so right here I'm just drawing on a little teardrop and then I will be filling it in with a blue felt tip liner Moving 
moving on to our lips, I'm just going to be using Max Viva Glam Nikki because it's a really great like pink fuchsia fun color to use. And then after our lips are all filled in, I'm going to outline them just using again a liquid liner. This is just a felt tip liner. I believe this one is from either Beige Cosmetics or Eve Pearl. on to our dots, I'm just going to use this white face paint that I found at Michael's and the back of a paintbrush and then just begin to pop on little dots all over my face. You kind of want to make these as even as possible, but again, don't try to be perfect because then you'll just probably mess up. <laughs> but you're just going to repeat this whole step all over your entire face and then we'll almost be done. And then lastly for our face, I'm just going to take that same white face paint and kind of just create a little highlight on my lip. But other than that, our look is complete. I'm just going to pop on a wig and then she will be done. There you go. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and until next time, I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.